Okay, we live. What is going on, Sil Squad? Welcome back to the Sil Stream. Feels good to be doing this as usual. If you're new here um, or you're watching the replay or whatever the case is, make sure you hit that like button, man, because you want to see this pop up on your algorithm every single time it happens. Now, today, man, I really want to talk about, um, you know, maybe what some of you guys' investment strategies are. Because, like, the, every everybody's torn, you know what I mean? Some people are trying to buy the dip right now. Some people think that things are going to go even lower and we're going to see some more market volatility when it comes to the traditional stock markets. Some people think that this pump that we're having um, is because of the having and it's just a fake out and that we're going to actually get dumped on pretty soon. Um, some people expect that dump. They Well, maybe not a dump, but they expect us to decline and then go back up because that's traditionally what happens during the halving. It's like, no matter where you turn, <coughs> pardon me, there's something different. There's just different opinions. So um, I figured we could just share some opinions today. Hopefully some people could uh, tell me what they're doing. I know a lot of the, the Shill Squad, they just be focused on certain things like okay i'm all in on this with a little bit of that you know i'm all in on that with a little bit of this you know but they have their one main thing with a little bit of you know leverage so we're gonna find out today on the shill stream and we're gonna definitely talk about it but before we do that man let's go ahead and switch over hey we got mg tau investor he he just said all in he didn't even say what, what he's all in on <laughs> all in um all in hex oh boy <laughs> oh man okay i don't know i don't know about that but hey hex been going crazy man hey look if you guys are new to the channel like come through the shill stream um i was doing it every single day and i think i'm gonna get back to that i think i'm over my whole hiatus and stuff it takes me too long to make standalone videos i get distracted i got other things going on i gotta think too much so I'm getting back to doing this every day. Uh, cut me some slack if I miss one here or there, but for the most part, we're doing this thing every single day. People jump in the chat. We talk about everything. We talk about stocks. We talk about crypto. We talk about gold and, and, and precious metals. We talk about the coronavirus. We talk about whatever, and I'm not afraid to say coronavirus because I'm not even monetized yet. <laughs> so this channel is very small and it definitely has an opportunity to grow and i would love for you guys to be there be a part of it jump in the chat everyone's welcome man and you can shill your project without feeling like an actual shill so come through first thing i want to look at is my youtube studio because although i'm not monetized um i'm on the road man you know i got you know the subscribers that i need um my subs are going up a little bit like here and there i'm starting to see it but my monetization let's check it out okay 3496 so we get in there i only need 504 hours to be eligible for monetization so um with that being said make sure y'all watch these videos man make sure y'all come to the stream because i'm almost there man within like a month or so we could probably get there man let's see what weeble is saying man you know weeble man it's, a, it's, a, it's an investing app that i tried out man and they 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 shorted me on some referrals man i sent my wife the invite took her phone signed her up myself with the invite and they didn't give me the credit for it they said oh she must not have used it excuse me it's quiet for y'all i'm not using y'all no more <laughs> hey otto banks what up bro he said keep going fam i feel you man thank you bro i'm gonna still do you know i'm gonna do what i got to do but i just gotta uh I got to focus on what works for me, man. And what works for me is really you guys that's been true. That's just been coming through every day, rocking out during the shill stream. Like, I can't. Like, y'all the only ones that's really holding it down. So, like, you know, first and foremost, I got to thank y'all. And I got to show appreciation by just being consistent. But second of all, like, I got to double down on what really works. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Crypto and Culture, what's goody, bro? How's everything, man? Hope all is well. My boy Crypto and Culture's in the building before we even keep moving around. Um, 
Let me shout my boy out, shout his channel out, man. I always gotta show love to the ones that that really be riding. My boy passed a thousand subs. I don't know if he need watch time or, you know, I'm sure he getting all the watch time on this video, but I don't know if he need watch time, but I know my boy's on his way. So definitely go subscribe to his channel, check it out. You know, it's definitely Liddy over there, man. So, um, something that I, something that I noticed, man, Dan Jones, what up, bro? Thanks for jumping in the chat, man. How are you? Oh, man, Crypto Coach said he need a lot of watch time, man. Hey, you ain't the only one, brother. Get in line, bro. <laughs> Yo, um, you know something, something that I noticed, man, for crypto influencers, right? Um, so everybody know Chico Crypto, right? And this is why I made my thumbnail like kind of like this today. So everybody know Chico Crypto, right? Y'all see his thumbnails, right? I noticed that, um, remember I talked about copying videos. I talked about this before I even get there. Let me, let me show y'all what I'm talking about, man. Cause I talked about this in the, let me show y'all here. My YouTube video, how to make money on YouTube in 2020 copying videos. That's the title, right? Hey, thanks, Otto. Otto Bank says we're blazing a new lane, man. Thank you, man. And that's the facts, bro. We are really like opening up a new lane. And if we let up, man, like, then who else is gonna do it? You know, I was talking to my wife about that yesterday. I'd be wanting to just do other stuff. I was like, man, let me just. Let me just complain. Let me pout today. And then I even text crypto and culture yesterday, man. Like, cause I was on, I was getting ready to just quit, but I'm like, eh, let me just pout a little bit, vent, text some weird stuff to crypto and culture and then not sex, not text them back, make them worry about me, you know, say a couple strange things to my wife. And then by the next day, I'll be back to good. <laughs> um, what you call it? Lone Sigma. What up, bro? He said, I'd say copying. Uh, no, he said, well, copying is a strong word. I'd say inspired by. Well, I'm saying copy videos, <laughs> like legitimately, like go ahead, watch videos, try to copy them. You know what I'm saying? Like try to do what you can do to actually literally copy them in your own words and stuff in your own style but same type of content, same type of thumbnails, same type of tags and everything so that you could catch on to the algorithm. So I peeped um, Chico Crypto, right? You can see how his thumbnails look. See these thumbnails, you see how it goes, man. He got the same similar thumbnails for the most part, right? BitBoy Crypto, he's on his way up right now. He's starting to try to get the Chico style. You see that, right? He got the Chico style uh, thumbnails. Your boy, he, he's trying to he's trying to get to it, man. Lone Sigma said, "Were you out of control the other day? What you mean by out of control? Like when I was talking about uh, yesterday? Nah, yesterday, man. I, if if that's what you're talking about, man. Nah, yesterday I was just sitting down. I had writer's block. I was trying to make a I was trying to make a video. Hey, Emil Cook, what up, bro? Good to see you back, man. I'm glad you made it back, bro. Um." I had writer's block, bro. And then I just started looking through all of these, um, through all of these different channels, man. I'm like, yo, these dudes is trash, bro. No offense, man. I got love for everybody, but I'm like, some of these dudes is garbage, bro. Like I'm talking about just standing in, in their backyard. Like this is the biggest, you know, monetary system we've seen since the dollar itself, you know, and, and, and we're going to see a big wealth transfer and i think bitcoin is going to a million and chain link is going to at least ten thousand dollars and if you don't get it now and it's like sixteen thousand views twenty five thousand views i'm like wow bro but i ain't really tripping i ain't jealous or anything like that i'm just like man i gotta find out how um <laughs> dominic kennedy says what's up low key what up bro so i'm all over the place too i looked at uh coin source atms Seems like a legit company. Uh, ATM business seems like it could be long-term profitable. Yeah, um, I, I wonder how that's going. It seems like the, the Bitcoin ATMs, uh, wait, CoinSource is the actual coins, right? Where people just put in their coins. Huh, I might have to look into that, man. 
<laughs> Dan said, how's the ATM going to be profitable when people can't go outside? That's true, but I, I don't know how long that's going to last, man. So um, anyway, shout out to BitBoy Crypto. I was just saying like, yo, copying, you know what I mean, is actually a good thing to do on YouTube if you're trying to get your, your channel up, get your exposure. This guy been putting in work lately, man, BitBoy Crypto. But this is really how his joints used to look all over the place, all types of whatever. And then now just recently he started doing the Chico Crypto vibes, you know? Hey, Flash the Smoke, what's goody, bro? What is goody? Let's see, my volumes is okay, right? Okay. Uh, sounds like Altcoin Daily, LOL. <laughs> Fear sells. Crypto Culture said, I'm hating. You, what you mean on the, on the rest of the YouTubers? <laughs> I feel you, man. I ain't even tripping, bro. Hey, um, if y'all not following me on Twitter, this is like an easy way to reach me. So you can check me out on here. I ain't really got much going on. Um, every once in a while, I think I'm smart and then I get no likes. Trying to get rich quick by throwing money at risky investments is a bad idea, man. And that's what I really wanted to talk about today, man. I know, you know, market has been, you know, a little bit sideways the past few days. But overall, it's been up for like, you know, since like a week or two ago. And it's looking pretty healthy, man. So uh, a lot of people are excited about the Bitcoin halving that's coming up for anybody. I know most people in here know what the Bitcoin halving is, but if you don't know what the Bitcoin halving is, right, there's a certain amount of Bitcoin that gets produced every, what is it, 10 minutes or 15 minutes? I don't even know. Um, every certain, see, I don't even know, like 10 minutes, right? I want to check now, man. <laughs> Uh, come on, man. They had a whole, they had a whole joint. All right. Yeah. So approximately every 10 minutes, there's a uh, 12.5 Bitcoins that get produced. And basically if, if, let me just take it from the beginning for anybody that doesn't know, and I'm gonna make it like one minute. I'm trying to just do it like one minute. Cause I don't want to bore anybody. It's only 21 million Bitcoin that can ever be produced. That's why it's valuable because it has scarcity and it's considered the best form of money when you really look into it. Now, during this time that 20 million is being produced is not just like one shot deal. It's actually every 10 minutes, there's Bitcoin that gets released into the market. And right now, after a few halvings that took place in the past, we're currently getting 12 and a half bitcoins every 10 minutes in less than a week that number is going to be cut in half to six and a quarter bitcoins every 10 minutes so the people that's putting all their energy into mining all the computing power into mining securing the network and actually creating new bitcoin there's going to be way less of it. Half of that amount of Bitcoin is going to be produced on a regular basis until the next having again. So we'll never get 12 and a half Bitcoins every 10 minutes for the rest of our lives, starting in less than a week. Now, with that being said, there's definitely a pump that's been occurring over the past few days, like basically a week or so to hit trading view up. And some people think it's a fake out. Some people think you know, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna crash after this. We're gonna dip after this. Some people think we're just gonna take off or we're gonna have what's basically traditionally happened in the past. And we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna slowly, but slowly, but within like a short period of time, <laughs> just explode. So that kind of doesn't make sense when I say it, like slowly, when I say slowly, maybe not in a day, Maybe not in a week, but in a short period of time, meaning like the end of this year, we might see all time highs again is what people are expecting. So uh, we're looking at the daily chart over here. You can see just a few days ago on the 29th, it's just about a week ago. Um, Bitcoin had a really nice pump, man, really nice pump. And since then, we've been kind of sideways, but actually climbing and I don't know, man, a couple more days. We're going to have to see what happens, man. Hold on, what, what dude said? Uh, true, Dominic said ATMs that, uh, just to jump back in the convo, ATMs is at the liquor store and the liquor store is open 
and most of us is hitting those up <laughs> uh mg tab been looking at data usd all right we're gonna look at that waiting till you get the raids shadow legend sponsor me Psh, let me see let me get any sponsor actually so one sponsor reached out to me right offer me some bread i don't want to put it out there how much is a very low amount i'm a small channel but just in case i say yes i don't want to put it out um for an exchange and i was like all right let's do it two videos i talk about their joint for um 30 seconds or 30 seconds i think it was or show a clip of their um their pre-recorded video which i probably wouldn't do because i feel like me talking about it is way better they was gonna pay me and then i was gonna do it a second time and you know me when i get sponsors i do a giveaway so i was gonna do a giveaway but i didn't mention that bro after i accepted the joint they came back said oh yeah we're not trying to pay this much would you take less than half man i didn't even answer them back like yeah don't play with me like that bro then after that they just hit me back again yesterday and i don't know they probably watch my stuff or they probably just look at my metrics or just came across me so if they watch my stuff hopefully they hear this but then they came back again yesterday offering me pretty much the same bread i'm like should i even do this joint you know i should should i just suck it up bitcoin over nine thousand, by the way um should i just suck this up and take the bread or do i just dub these people like man get out of here man y'all need to make a choice man let me pull this chart out a little bit so y'all can see the actual um dollar amount bitcoin was just over nine thousand, but we've been over nine thousand today um so let's just see what happens remember i didn't draw these lines from um, like i'd been drew these lines a minute ago so i'm still looking at it to be technically our support so even if we come back down after the halving Hopefully we don't get past 8,500 level because we see, you know what I mean? These long wicks over here. I don't see us get stopping until like the 8,000 level or maybe even less after that. So I'm, I'm hoping we stay, we stay pretty, we stay pretty well above this, uh, this, this line over here. Uh, let's see. There's definitely some, some convos going on in the chat right now, man. compare the great depression to today's stock market and you'll see why you just you gotta just not be all in right now facts um lone sigma said i remember waiting for litecoin happening nothing but disappointment bro litecoin i've been off litecoin since the day charlie lee sold all of his i said nah i'm good it really opened my eyes up i said man we don't need no silver to bitcoin's gold like we don't need that it's just it's just I, in my opinion man remember like i said i'm not hating on no projects i hope everybody that's an early investor in crypto you know what i mean they skyrocket they make their bread but for me i'm good uh matt sandstrom said i'm loving this usdc DeFi saver option you can buy usdc for zero fees on coinbase i didn't know you could buy it for zero fees you on to something kiddo you on to something big um uh, can't hustle a hustler that's a fact auto <laughs> open up a usdc vault generate die and buy wbtc open a wbtc vault and leverage it up <laughs> Yo, man, you in there, man. You making them flips happen, man. For anybody that doesn't know what um what uh, Matt is talking about, let me log into my MetaMask on this side. All right. So for anybody that don't know what Matt is talking about, check out DeFiSaver.com. So I don't got anything going on on this. I've been empty this. I remember that. But basically, you could create a CDP with any of these four tokens now. When I was doing it, it was just ETH and then basic attention token eventually came through too. But now you can do it with USDC and WBTC, which is wrapped Bitcoin. All it is, is like 
um, you take an actual real Bitcoin and you put it in like this storage kind of, it's like a vault that they use and create a Bitcoin on the Ethereum network. So it's like a, a, a fake Bitcoin that's backed by a real Bitcoin on the Ethereum network because this whole thing only works with Ethereum ecosystem. You know what I'm saying? It's like having a, um, it's like having an app that only works on Mac. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have, it's, it's just Apple apps in here. That's all, uh, that's basically what that is. Um, so when I say it only works in Ethereum, and just, just in case nobody understands. So these are Ethereum tokens. You know what I mean? These are like Ethereum, uh, like, like Apple apps, Ethereum tokens. And in order to get Bitcoin on here, basically backed it with a real Bitcoin and created an Ethereum Bitcoin wrapped Bitcoin. So now you can do a CDP and generate a loan or for your Bitcoin or your wrapped Bitcoin really. So what Matt is doing, he's taking basically USD us dollars. You don't need to have the same type of liquidation as you do for Ethereum, which is 150 or basic attention token, which is 150 or wrap Bitcoin, which is 150. You only need 120 on USDC, you get your collateral, buy some wrap Bitcoin, wave it up. It's, it's that simple. Let's see. Dominic said, Take the bread, it's the fruits of your labor. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. DYOR, do your own research, blah, blah. Thank you for the advice, bro. And straight up, like, I'm looking for y'all opinions, man. So I'm gonna I'm do that. I'm gonna I'm just respond to them in a way like, listen, are you certain this time? Cause I, you know, I take business serious. I put a lot of effort into this stuff, yada, yada, yada. And I'll take the sponsorship. It's an exchange, man, you know? Like, I think it's a leverage exchange, but not um, not the main ones everybody knows about. It's something else, so. If y'all see me shilling that, y'all know what it is. Let's see, Matt said uh, Litecoin has privacy coming. I've been hearing that for a while. They're looking at the Mimble Wimble technology and whatnot. Let's see what had like a big day, man. Digibyte been going crazy. Right? Like, Digibyte been having some big days, man. They up 23%. Goodness gracious, bro. 20, yo, what's been going on with Digibyte? Let's check them in the last month. Look at that. In the last month, it was just April 5th. It was half of a penny. And now it's almost at two and a half pennies. 2.3. I gotta find out the formula to find to, to do the math on that, but that's bananas, yo. Man. Okay, so I got some questions in here. Let's see. Uh ETH outperforms Bitcoin, even if it's not as rare. I think so too. What you mean? What you mean though? Wave it up. When I say wave it up, um, all I'm saying is just, eh, it's just build it up. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. Wave is not like a, a actual thing that you do. All I'm saying is just like you know, build up that stash. So, uh, in the, I think you mentioned that you saw it in my how to multiply big, how to multiply your Ethereum video. Um, I was using. A different interface DeFi saver um is a problem i don't know if you've been around my videos when i was using DeFi saver but it's a better interface because what i was doing i was generating die i was um buying ethereum with that die and then i was depositing it and repeating the cycle but on this interface you have something called boost where it does that all in one transaction so that's all i mean by wave it up that's what i used to say like boost that you know just wave it up it's just the lingo i'm sure okay good i'm, I'm pretty sure you've seen DeFi saver you sound like you do research like you in this 
Like, you in the space. <laughs> um, not, and definitely not double leverage. Yeah, Kyber and Uniswap. Digi pumping is suspect. Shout out to those that came up. I dumped most of my Digi the last run. Yeah, do you know if anything's been going on for Digibyte to be running up? Like, I, I was definitely wondering. But it seems like they got this, um, I was watching some of uh, BitBoy Crypto like I was talking about before. Let's see. Uh, man, how do I find this stuff, man? On the side over here. There you go. I was watching BitBoy Crypto and he keeps talking about this, um, let's see, five hottest altcoins. He keeps talking about this site called like Token Metrics or something like that. And I think a lot of people are using Token Metrics to figure out which ones are gonna pump and it's just like causing a pump. And I think this is, yeah, I think this is the joint that Ian Bellina and a couple other people started at Token Metrics, man. So they'll put like rankings and stuff like that. Like, oh, this is most likely gonna pump. That's most likely gonna pump. This is our number one pick, our number one choice. So Ian Bellino went from, you know, doing it on YouTube to basically, um, wow, you got your man over here on there. I need, I need my, um, I need my, my sponsorship from them, yo. But he went from doing it on the, um, on the YouTube to charging a subscription fee. <laughs> That's a fact. But yeah, you can see BitBoy Crypto right here. Um, I wonder if it's good, man. I wonder how much it costs. I think it's a bag. Yeah, $39.99 a month, bro. Like, that's a bag, bro. But some people are making bread off of it, man. For real. $39.99 a month, bro. I don't think I even want any parts of it. I mean, I I don't know. Maybe one day, but not right now for sure. I'm goody. But I know this was on it for sure. Can't find much shilling on Digibyte. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what's going on with it. What's the best decentralized site to buy rap Bitcoin with DAI? Just using MetaMask. Shucks. I don't know the best decentralized site, but I know they sell it right on Kyber. Crypto and Culture says whales. Yeah, that, that's usually the case. <laughs> that's usually the case. Let's see. WBTC would die. Yeah, you could just do that right on Kyber. Oh, you can't put a limit order in? I thought you could. Not for this one? Wow. Let's check. They don't got die for limit orders? They got it right there. Got the limit orders right there. Yeah, you could you could do a limit order right here, bro. Buy wrap Bitcoin using Dai. Put your price in. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, you gotta you gotta actually go to it. It's kind of in, it's in beta mode. It says so. You actually gotta go to it and then switch your pair, and then you're good to go. Yo, so um, I've been trying to find like a good. You so say you want to put an order in at like 8,000? That's not bad. Oh, and MG Tau said DDEX. You know, DDEX is popping now too. Yeah, the, the limit order, it's been around for a couple months, but it's still like, it's getting better and better. It wasn't, it's, it is pretty new. Um, 
man so i've been looking at different products um for investing and stuff like that because my whole investment strategy is is to just take a chill pill <laughs> it, it might not it's not a real strategy but really what i'm saying is like i took a step back the other day because i keep getting that fomo of, and that anxiety that fomo of dang i want to do this i want to do that i want to hurry up I want to get in here i want my savings to be like i want to have emergency fund i want to have side savings i want to have um investment uh my uh, uh retirement funded i want to have cryptocurrency and it's like bro all of this stuff at the same time is not gonna happen like i didn't just get rich yesterday i'm not planning on just getting rich tomorrow granted i will welcome it i don't that's not the plan i know that's not realistic so I'm just trying to take it slow now. I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to invest um, in everything, really. So I upped my 401k. I got a Roth 401k. So for anybody that don't know, basically, I pay the taxes up front. It's a Roth 401k, which I could contribute a lot more than I can in a Roth IRA because it's a 401k. That's just the name of the game. Like a Roth IRA, I could only put in 6000 a year. But because it's a Roth 401k, my company don't match. But still, I took advantage of it because because, um, because I could contribute a lot more than I could with an IRA. So um, I just upped my Roth 401k. Um, dollar cost averaging Bitcoin, Ethereum, and altcoin. I don't know what altcoin it is really yet. Like I, I, every week I might choose a different one or whatever the case is, but it's just a dollar amount. Like, okay, that's for altcoins. So like this week, I don't know which one it's gonna be. It's gonna be Kyber. Maybe it's gonna be Chainlink. I'm figuring it out, but it's dollar cost averaging. And then I'm buying stocks also. Um, so as you can tell, I'm spreading myself kind of thin and I'm paying down my debt. So I'm spreading myself kind of thin, but then I realized too, like, okay it's all gonna take a while you know what i'm saying it's all gonna take a while but uh there are certain things that i would like to go into heavier than others hey mg Tao, man why you say um roth 401k that's crazy like never heard of it or that's a bad idea or what you're better off just buying you pro uh maybe than individual stocks oh okay than individual stocks i was gonna say then then having a roth 401k yeah roth 401k i was actually surprised man it's awesome i had uh you had a roth 401k okay yeah a roth 401k man i was really surprised man because you know i've always heard of a roth ira and a regular ira of course and regular traditional 401ks but i got a roth 401k which means like I could contribute up to, um, I think like 19,000 or 19,500. Whereas in a Roth IRA, I could contribute only up to 6,000 or it might've just moved to 7,000 per year. So that means I could throw in as much bread as I want to almost cause I'm not putting in 20,000 every year. I could put up as much bread as I want to almost and grow that thing crazy. And then once, um, I were to leave my job or whatever the case may be, we part ways. I could roll that into an IRA. So, man, you got the high risk stuff, huh? Sixty five hundred for fifty for under fifty people. Okay. So. Um, yeah, I think above 50, then it's like 7,000 or 75, right? So um, I haven't tested out this platform at all yet, but like SoFi has almost everything. The only thing that they don't have is cryptocurrency withdrawals. So I would never buy crypto on here, obviously, but eventually they probably will. They said it's something they would consider. I was reading through like the fine print pretty much. But man, they got everything, man. They got like loans they got investments like you can do um let's go to straight to sofi invest man they have like trading you can buy uh fractional shares on there 
they have um cryptocurrency you know etfs uh, what else they got um iras you know retirement accounts and stuff like that they have absolutely everything on sofi and it's like stock bits this is what they they're, they're fractional stocks and stuff um and i'm like man that's like they got everything what he said he said um individual account has all the treasuries and low risk stuff yeah i mean i'm not trying to go all the way low risk but in the ira you still got control over what you invest into bro you should still have control and you said loans on your ira that would be cool you can you can borrow from your ira bro that's especially like a Roth IRA especially like you could borrow as much as you put into it I believe I think with I know with a 401 with my 401k I think it's only up to 50% of what I put in I'm not sure but you could definitely borrow from it so um man I don't know I was just looking at this platform I'm looking for that all in one like everything is there platform man I would love to just put in like you know whatever amount every week and then my funds get automatically dispersed into different accounts you know one goes into like i you know some of it into ira some of it into my same stocks that i buy every single week and then some of it into my crypto that i buy every single week just on its own and i think that they might get there but as for right now i'm just buying my stocks on cash app because they got fractional shares it's the easiest thing ever you don't even have to set up like your bank account the same way you can just do it straight from your debit card and um i think at least uh, that's what i remembered from when i set it up but yeah straight from my debit card i don't even have to actually do it with like transferring money and waiting for the money to clear it or they clear you for a certain amount and now i gotta wait a few days so i could sell and get my money back mm -mm. just buy it sell it just make sure it's in trading hours mad easy so that's why I love Cash App. And I think right now Cash App is where it's at because that's where I also buy my Bitcoin. The fees are way lower than Coinbase. Now, I know there's ways to save fees on Coinbase, but Cash App is, is uh, very convenient. No. Oh, okay. Before I could even finish reading your, um, your sentence, I was hurting for you, bro. He said he lost all his... He, he got all his cryptos on a ledger that... He unfortunately lost one day in a boating accident. Wink, wink. I try to wink. My wink look like a twitch. Look like I'm twitching. <laughs> but anyway, so like that's that's really what I'm looking at is the long term. Um, just taking it easy, man. Not rushing anymore. I got so much stuff going on at the same time and it's like you know what man like <laughs> it ain't all over man <laughs> it ain't all over you gotta you gotta just take it one step at a time man it's only just begun man daughter just turned five months on saturday she growing um so you know i gotta I gotta raise her i gotta get her funds right we, we need to get furniture in here. Still don't got no furniture. You come to my crib, it look like a big hallway. Like, this is a big hallway. Do I like SNT uh, status? I've never used it. Oh, yeah, we got to look at um, data, right? So let's look at... You want to look at the chart or... S and T and data are at the top of the Uniswap charts. Oh, okay. This would be dope if we if we started like a group. Could you do group chats on here? If we was like, yo, we just gonna finally get it popping. We're gonna be the ones that make status popping. We're gonna be the ones that start up the chats really talk to each other on it we have a group situation we're able to just send each other little tips and stuff like that whenever somebody puts in some good information and we just but i don't know if you could do group chats on here 
and i don't know how well this works does anybody else have this um i think i downloaded it once i'd like to download it again and test it out if anybody else got this let me know man let me know mm. is zill coming back to life um didn't it it was going it was going good the other day too right I think it was going good the other day too, Zilliqa, huh? Let's check out. Let's check out um past seven days. Yeah. It did good the other day and it's doing good again today. May 3rd. So that was like two days ago. Sunday. Yeah, it's had a pretty pretty good week, man. Pretty good week in general. Started out at half a cent. Kinda like what was we just talking about? Like Digibyte. Now it's um, eight tenths of a cent. So it went up quite a bit. What's that like? Like 50%. Like maybe a little more than that. I used it back in the day, but I ain't have no one to chat with. That's pretty much... I downloaded it and I'm like, okay, so who do I message? That's what this is for, right? Messages? <laughs> if they, uh, I'll check it out. I'll probably, I'll eye it out and um, we'll see if they got, um, if they got group chats in there. Cause if, if they got group chats in the, um, in the status, we might as well all just group chat in there and then start getting sponsors from them and splitting the bag like yo we was the ones that made this popping who was y'all talking to we the ones that made this grow we're the ones that decided we're gonna take our talents to status okay i don't know we, we i'll check it out I'll, I'll definitely see let's see features messenger uh, public, private, and group chats. Okay. Join any number of public channels and, or send private one-on-one -on -one or group chats. You can even send, uh, and receive crypto payments directly in your private chat. In the private chats. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? I might start shilling this um, in the start of my streams. It's like, yo, um, Join me on status. How much money you want to bet? If I start getting status popping like two weeks, you're going to see Chico talking about, yeah, join my status. I'll be like, I know he's watching on the low. <laughs> MG Tile says I'm downloading it now. All right, I'm going to download it today, man. Matter of fact, I'll download it right now. Might as well download it now and just... um. I don't know if I got to do a bunch of setups. Yeah. All right. So for, for tomorrow, I'll definitely have mine set up and uh, we could definitely try to do like a, um, a group situation, man. Let's see status chat. Yep. All right. It's over. It's over. We're doing it. It's about to be dope. All right, a mill joining. It's lit. A community deployed DAP, which provides a borderless peer to peer fiat to crypto teller network that allows stakeholders to find nearby users to exchange their cash for digital assets and currency. I'm guessing. What is that? Hmm. Is that what status is? Flash the smoke said, nah, he best not. <laughs> best not what? I'm trying to remember what I even said. <laughs> hey, tomorrow at 8 o'clock, man. Uh, my bad. I was like five minutes late today. I jumped in at 8.05. But uh, 8 o'clock tomorrow, man. I think I'm just going to go back to the everyday um, stream at 8. You can, you can make it. Make it. You know, come through. Chill. No pressure. Um, if you can't. Just do whatever you want to do. Like, go do what you got to do. You wanted to watch TV. You wanted to read. You wanted to go take a walk. You wanted to go visit the only bar that's still, that's probably open. <laughs> um, 
just come through man i'm gonna just try to start doing this again every day at eight because this is what works best for me man is the shill it's the shill squad it's the shill stream it just feels at home i like it man so yo that's crazy though they really got everything integrated into here huh that's pretty dope i might start sending people like a die token just for joining like get your free die they come through they get like a 0.5 die like this guy gave me 50 cents bro <laughs> i'm blocking you <laughs> yeah this guy gave me 50 cents bro <laughs> hey crypto quarter crawler what up bro hey i'm glad you made it man i'm the one that's inconsistent so you know you never really know when to jump in man where is this key card oh this is a hardware wallet that's the new thing that they're doing is um hardware wallets on these these cards compatible bolt with both mobile and desktop wallets key card creates a safe man i got my my um i got my ledger man but it would be cool to just be able to carry it without feeling as like you know is it in my pocket you know <laughs> like as long as i know i got my wallet i ain't trying to lose that either so contactless transaction verification with nfc you can securely sign and verify transactions and payments by tapping key card to your mobile device okay all right all right uh, and yeah, whatever let's not show them i just wanted to see what all of this uh stuff was from the status network i guess this is all from them not sure What the hell is this? Deploy capital across DeFi protocols in one transaction. DeFi zap. This is just taking me down a rabbit hole, bro. Get instant access to unique opportunities and open finance. That's what a lot of people are calling it is open finance. I wonder if I could make the switch. A lot of people are like, I wish we would have called it open finance first. bet you i could get people to start saying open finance uh, yo i think low key bro not like my name low key but like on the low i think people watch my stuff sometimes and they're like oh, i kind of like that and they use it and then they get the cred bro i ain't even gonna say what stuff because i can't think of it off the top of the head but quite a few times bro i done did a video and i'm like wow we were talking about that two days ago you never spoke about that but, you know, it could just be coincidence. We all look at the same stuff all the time. But it'd just be weird because it's like, it'd be from deep research that I bring certain things up. It's not just like what's on Coin Telegraph or anything. Um, hmm. Interesting, though. Okay. Streets is watching. That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact, bro. Matt said, the nice thing about the DeFi saver, you are leveraging up your USDC to get DAI and then leveraging up your WBTC to get more WBTC, double whammy. Well, right, okay, I think I kind of see. I'm wondering, oh, because with uh, USDC, you can get more DAI than you can with Ethereum, than you can with uh, Basic Attention Token or WBTC. So you get DAI, but can't you just buy DAI? Well, not for the not for the same good rate as um, as USDC, I guess. Wow, MG Tao, bro, you might be right. He said die is gonna be super pegged now with usdc i hope so man i hope so you need it to be as stable as possible i know there's certain lever there's certain opportunities to arbitrage when you know die goes to a dollar and three cents or it goes to 98 cents or something like that but it needs to be as stable as possible i like this i want to look into this more um so this is something that i'm going to keep open here 
but man yo that's it man and and, and, and at 10 o'clock yeah, a little past 10 o'clock. We only got... Is it going to be a little past 10 o'clock? Something like that. 10 or 11 o'clock, man. We're going to have six days exact. Less than six days, really. So, we getting there, man. Let's check out the eat charts real quick because we didn't look at them at all. Man, eat been going down the past few days. What's Bitcoin doing up the past few days? That just means we're up for a <laughs> we're up for a, a nice altcoin pump, man. Oh, green screen just came in. It's Liddy. I think I I got my green screen. Yeah, I got my green screen in the cut right there too, man. You about to do what you about to do. What you about to do with that green screen, bro? I already know you be acting a fool already, bro. You about to go crazy with that green screen. Man, I got a skit that I've been wanting to do, man. I just, just haven't gotten around to it, man. Decent little skit. Just, it's not even meant to be funny. It's just like, like a nice intro to a video. Like, wow, that was dope. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh man, big uh. <laughs> if if you really talking zoom, big interviews coming, huh? You be scared. What you scared of, bro? You should see this. You the most fearless guy ever, man. To not look uh, stupid or corny. What with the skits? But what exactly, bro? Man, man, everybody in this space is corny, bro. We corny, they corny. We all do silly stuff. Like, it's just, we, we be our own biggest roadblock, man. I'm telling you, man. I know I am for myself. Oh, with the skits, yeah. Bro, I got one that I really think is gonna be cool for a specific video that I wanna make, but I just be having writer's block sometimes. Um, I just be tired on the weekends. Don't be feeling like getting up. You know, bro, you know how many different angles it takes to do a skit, bro? And this camera is not like the greatest, greatest camera. It's decent, but I need a better, I want a better, I want a better camera. That's what I'm saving money for, like, but I'm going to take like a year to get that money, man. <laughs> I'm like, let me not rush it. said take them Dave Chappelle notes with the skits man bro <laughs> that's that's a little difficult I ain't gonna lie to you but <laughs> but I am taking notes from everybody that's doing them that's doing skits crypto and culture he do the funny skits bro I rocks out with his stuff his stuff is funny I would like to do something like y'all gonna see I'm gonna just leave it, man. I wanna show y'all a little preview. I got it right on my desk, but I'm not even gonna show y'all. Oh, as far as don't regret a skit. Oh, good good point. Okay. Nah, that's a good point, man. I seen him uh, talking about that too. I don't know if it was in a stand-up or something, but I remember him talking about that. I might have to look it up or you might have to send me something directly. But yo, man, um, I'm getting ready to get off this thing. Hey, remember, hey, look, man, I'm trying to change my thumbnails, look a little more like homie too, man. Why not? Like, I'm just trying different things out, man. But anyway, man, thank you everybody for coming back to the show stream. We, we back on every day, man. We back on every day. I'm gonna miss one and one or two here and there, but for the most part, we right back on, man. So tomorrow, I'm right back over here at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, make sure y'all have some stuff to talk about, man. Download that status app because I'm gonna get it, and we might just start up like a nice little group chat on there, man. So I'll catch you guys on the next vid. Y'all have a good day. I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>